If you get sick in America, this is what the Republicans want you to do. If you get sick, America, the Republican health care plan is this. Die quickly. That's right. The Republicans want you to die quickly if you get sick. And he didn't stop at health care reform. Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson made his name saying some pretty colorful things, most recently calling his Florida opponent Taliban, quote, Taliban Dan. Congressman Grayson joins me now. Welcome, sir. Appreciate your time. All right, so here's the big question, $64,000 question. I, I told my Facebook friends and Twitter friends and all that you were coming on, and they all wanted to know, do you think you were too dramatic? Was this all about winning or your next iteration is it going to be on TV? Is it going to be writing for HuffPo, as Mr. O'Reilly might say? Well, I don't want your job. I would never stoop that low. Wow, really? Oh, very good. Um, okay, so <laughs> do, do, what did you do wrong, sir? Did you, not, um, did you not move to the center enough, or did you stay too far left? Listen, um, I won by four points in 2008. If you look at all the Democrats that won by 10 points or less, there were 28 of us, 26 of us lost. And in addition to that, another 40 Democrats lost when they won by 10 points or more in 2008. There was nothing that I could have done that would have made any difference to this result. It well, was well, a wave election. How about the election. antics on the floor? Let me finish. How about let the antics on, on the floor where you, you hold up a sign that says, die quickly? I mean, what were you thinking? That, that's disrespectful. Let me finish, okay? Go ahead. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. I'm the first Democrat to represent my district in 34 years. And I represent a district that's gerrymandered for the benefit of the Republicans. So there was literally nothing that I could do that would make any difference in this election result. What I do feel good about is the fact that we have health care for all Americans right now. And I contributed to that in a way that you find disrespectful but in fact will save the lives of tens of thousands of Americans every single year. If you take two Americans who are absolutely identical, same weight, same race, same gender, even same smoking habits, and one of them has health insurance, I, the other one doesn't. Congressman, we're not going to do Let the health care debate here. We already know where America stands. You brought on. it 57% up. 57% says they you don't want You brought it no, up. No. I'm asking what you did wrong. I said, were you overly dramatic on, on, the, on the House floor? How about this? Were you wrong in comparing your Republican competitor to the Taliban, Taliban Dan. What are you thinking? Well, I'm going to finish what I was saying. Please do, uh, If sir, you don't have health you're... insurance in this country, then you're 25 percent more likely to die each year. And we've saved all those lives. There's 100,000 people in my district who will get health care because of health care reform. And I feel proud that those people will be saved. Now, with regard to the election, Dan Rather, someone who you probably don't like, told me last year that if you do the job well, you feel proud whether you win or lose. And that's how I feel. And do you think uh, some of the antics, the uh, you die quickly, the Taliban, Dan, that, that is what you would call doing the job well? I'm trying to be respectful to you, sir, because I've been accused of being disrespectful well, I, in the past. Uh, but it, frankly, you're not really answering my question. That. I can understand why people would accuse you of that. What I can't understand is why people accuse me of what you just accused me of when, in fact, the Republicans had no health care plan, have no health care plan, and aren't going to have a health care plan. Sir, let me ask what you is this. the Republican you, plan going, to save those people now? who die from the not, lack of health care? Now that you're not a congressman anymore, what are you going to do? Are you going to go to work for the health industry? Because it sounds like you're, just, you're, you're a mouthpiece for the health industry. I'm a mouthpiece for the health industry. That's what I said. I, I, don't, I don't know where you're coming from with that, but no, I don't plan to go to work for the health industry. Do you have any serious questions you want to ask me about the I don't think I do, sir. Or Honestly, anything else today? I, it's almost like I'm talking to a medicated person right now. 